Meet the most hated gang in Chicago that beef with over 20 different sets throughout Chicago and are allegedly responsible for over 20 different murders, from failed armor truck robberies to backdooring their own homies. These guys are cold savages. 800, also known as 800 Young Money, 800 DMG, Frank Block, and Diddy Grove. This Chicago gang is a maniac Cobra set and renegade Mickey Cobras, located on 800 East Cottage Grove Avenue from 61st to 62nd. From Cottage to Drexel, 800 is known to beef with every set in Chicago, including Black Disciples and Gangsta Disciples, making this set have no allies. They were only allies with 051 Young Money until 051 clicked up with TYMB, who is one of 800's ops. So in that situation, 051 Young Money turned into 800's ops. Back in the day though, 800 used to go by Mickey City, and this was in honor of Mickey Cardwell, who was a Mickey Cobra that was killed in 1977. They were also close with Chief Town. The earliest known activity though from 800 was around the late 2000s, when they started beefing with Dro City. Around this time, 800 and Dro City was beefing hard with multiple shots being fired at each other. 800's first death though was in 2009 when 800 Tommy was killed by Kevil from Matt Creek who is now serving 60 years for the murder. But on February 24th, 2011, 800 would lose their second member to the streets. His name was Roselle Phillips, aka 800 Diddy. 9:10 p.m. 800 Diddy was sitting inside his vehicle on the 6100 block of South Cottage Grove Avenue, when suddenly his attacker drove up alongside of him and fired multiple shots on the left side of his vehicle, striking Diddy multiple times. 800 Diddy was dead on the scene, but only a couple months later on March 28, 2012, 800 would lose another well-loved member. Terry Brown, aka Old Head, was shot over 33 times over a jacket, and a man who just finished serving a sentence for murder four months before this event was charged in this shooting that left three people dead. Curtis A. Davis Jr., who was once friends with the three men, he is now charged with shooting to death on March 27th at an apartment in the West Woodlawn neighborhood, prosecutors said. Dozens of shell casings littered the scene, and one victim was found on the porch with his body disfigured with 33 bullet wounds. And this was Terry Brown, AKA Old Head, and the shooting may have been sparked by an argument over a jacket. Davis was free from prison about three years ago after serving time for the February 21st, 1989 murder of Harvey Austin. Around late 2012, early 2013, 800 Big Mike would allegedly shoot up FPG Duck, where in retaliation, he was shot in his legs, allegedly by STL and Gyro City. He was unfortunately left paralyzed up to date. However, many people think TYMB and Taekwon World shot Big Mike instead of STL and Gyro City. But also in 2013, 800 would get their first get back, September 9th, 2013. At around 6 a.m., Alan Ross, aka Lil Fish, was found laying in the grass beaten to death in Washington Park on the 5100 block of South Ellsworth Drive. He was pronounced dead that Saturday morning at the University of Chicago Hospital, and 800 was the ones that was allegedly responsible for this murder. And 800 would begin to gain more and more hate from different sets throughout these years, because in 2015, something would happen that would shock everybody. September 6, 2015, Jaro City would throw a party on 800's territory, and this was for one of their fallen members. All up until 1 a.m., 800 would pull up to the party and would start to argue with Jairo City and Taekwon World members. Then shots would be fired in the 6100 block of South Cottage Grove Avenue, leaving a 17-year-old girl named Shakaya Hearn shot in the head who had no gang affiliation who just lived in Jairo City. Jairo City Booby was a well-loved Jairo City member, and this grew even more tension between 800 and different gangs. They was also allegedly responsible for killing Casey from TYB, and this guy had pictures with Kane Ron from back in the day. But on May 27th, 2016, a well-loved 800 member would lose their life. Kevin Lurie, aka 800 Pyro, was playing dice with a couple of MOB members. When 800 Pyro, and MOB Damo would get into an argument about the dice game. Then Dominique Gree, aka MOB Damo, would shoot Pyro several times, leaving him dead on the scene. But then a couple months later, MOB Damo would be arrested for the murder of him. 
then MOB Damo would have a lawsuit with the Chicago Police Department for wrongly shooting him. But MOB Damo would be sentenced to 50 years for shooting 800 Pyro. But in 2017 though, 800 and 051 Young Money would end their long relationship with each other after 051 clicked up with TYMB, who was ops with 800. STL and EBT also ended their relationship with 051 Young Money too. However, some members of 800 and 051 Young Money are still cool. September 25th, 2017. At 9.47 p.m., officers responded to a call of shots fired where they found 16-year-old Michael D. Hackenbottom in an alley with multiple gunshot wounds to his head and body in the 6400 block of South Langley. Lil Mike was a well-loved Geodrop slash MOB member and he was pronounced dead at the scene at 10.10 p.m. No one was in custody for this murder, but allegedly 800 had something to do with it. But on October 22nd, 2018, 800 would allegedly have something to do with Dusky the man's funeral being shot up, where six people were injured, including Wooski. And we have a whole video on our page about Wooski and this event, so make sure you go check that out. But also in 2018, 800 would allegedly be involved in the murder of DJ from Taekwondo World, and allegedly he was shot and killed at a bus stop. Also, this was their first body in 2018. Derek Hall, aka DJ, was standing at a bus stop at about 11:15 a.m. in the 9100 block of. South Cottage Grove when someone shot him in the neck. He was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. But all this killing would catch up to 800 because the next person that would lose their life would be an 800 member. October 11th, 2020, only one hour after filming the 800 Lil Twan OK Remix music video at about 10 p.m. Jeremiah D. McCoy, aka 800 Boss Move, was riding passenger in the car when a blue sedan pulled up and shot him in the head, right in the 8600 block of South State Street. 800 Boss Move was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This was a big loss for 800 because Boss Move was known to put in work. But even though they got Boss Move, 800 would get get back on March 10th, 2020. At about 4.20 p.m., a 17-year-old boy was shot and killed in Chatham on the south side. Damian Rogers, aka Bando Hothead, was in a backyard at about 4.23 p.m. near 82nd Street on South Maryland Avenue. When someone approached him and fired shots, he was hitting the head, groin, and back, and pronounced dead on the scene. Bando Hothead was a well-loved Face World 069 member, and he was known to put in a lot of work and dissing his songs a lot. So this was a big hit for 800, and I'm sure they did some partying after they got this guy out the way. But this next situation was a crazy situation that left two 800 members in jail for life. On November 15th, 2021, 800 Lil Fats and 800 Lil Twan decided to rob an armored truck and they robbed it with dope weight from Face World 079 and Spook from Face World 079 and you wouldn't believe what happened next because in the midst of the robbery they would shoot and kill an innocent security guard named LaShawn the Hearts plus these guys would backdoor Doe Way and Spook DeAndre Jenkins and Antoine Montgomery have both been charged with three counts of first degree murder, one count of attempted murder, and one count of armed robbery. Prosecutors say the guards was handling between fifty to eighty thousand dollars. Hearts was shot six times in the chest and the abdomen. She was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead from her wounds. Her co-worker was shot twice in the abdomen and hospitalized in critical condition. About 30 minutes later, private surveillance cameras showed the stolen Lincoln arrive at a Boost Mobile parking lot on the 6700 block of South Stony Island Avenue. Prosecutors said Montgomery pulled out two handguns at the store and demanded money at the register. Failing to open a safe, he took several phones and left the store. At about 11.30 a.m., a bystander had called the police to say a car had crashed. Right at the 8700 block of Saugany Avenue, officers found Spook and Doway shot in the car. Harper was shot once in the back of the neck, and Holmes was shot seven times. Both of them died at the scene, and a box of phones was found inside the car that had the location of the Boost Mobile store. And then police found out that the car, which was an Infiniti SUV, was registered to Harper's girlfriend. Officers and SWATs converged on the house that Jenkins and Montgomery was hiding in at about 3.50 p.m. that day. And Lil Fats and Lil Twan are still fighting this case of today. And 800 still has a lot of active members of today. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. 
爷爷阿茂